Shalom, call Akim. I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the tabernacle of David, whom the Lord is raising up in these last days. Shalom. The title of this video is going to be called Maintain Your Confidence. And if you understand the word confidence, con meaning with and fidence, um, going back to fide, which means faith, with faith, hold fast unto your faith, pretty much. This is, a, this is going to be an exhortation. This is Revelations chapter 3, verse 3. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. So remember how thou hast received and heard. Remember how the, how the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, brought you into this truth. And hold fast, hold tightly unto how the Lord brought you into this truth. Continue to repent for your sins. And constantly watch. What's watching? It's reading these scriptures. It's listening to the prophets. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And it's pushing out this work. It's filtering uh, what you see in your daily life in the news through the word. Do all these things. And the Lord will not come unto thee as a thief in the night. You don't want the Lord to come. And you not be ready. You won't be ready. The scripture says the, the path of the just shines brighter and brighter until the perfect day. And that perfect day is the day of the Lord. We're hoping to be those just men. This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 10. I'm going to read verse 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promised. Let us hold fast to our faith, Akim, without wavering. You can't go back in and out, one foot in the world, one foot in the truth. You got to be 100% for your Ba Shem Yah Shai, because it says, for he is faithful that promised. The suffering that we're enduring right now for being in this ministry the cross that we have to, have to bury, have to uh, suffer, is a light and temporary affliction. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse, I'm going to start at 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Outwardly, we're perishing. We're becoming lower and lower day by day in the society. And in the eyes of the people. But inwardly we're being renewed. The, the heavenly father. Has blessed us with his spirit. And is increasing us in knowledge. Wisdom and understanding. And we're going to be stable in the day of the Lord. And we're going to have all the answers. In, when, when it's dark outside. The scriptures say the day of the Lord. Is a dark day. But we, but we are the light of the world. We're going to have the light. We're going to have the answers in that time. So our spirit is being renewed day by day. Here's the point. Verse 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. See? A far, our light affliction works for a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. There's no comparison to the kingdom of heaven and what we're going to receive and the sufferings that we're going through right now. There's no comparison. So remain diligent. This is the book of Hebrews. Chapter 3, and I'm just going to start at verse 8. Harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of the temptation in the wilderness. And just talking about the time of Moses uh, when the Lord delivered Israel out of Egypt. And they, were, uh, they hardened their hearts to the Lord. Immediately when they got delivered out of Egypt and they saw the miracles and the wonders of the Lord, they built golden calves. And tried to worship golden calves, and they were going off. 
they didn't have faith that Yahweh Bashin Yahshai was going to bring them into the promised land. So the scriptures say, harden not your hearts as in the day of the provocation. We're not supposed to act. We're not supposed to do the things that wicked generation did. The Lord killed that generation and left them in the wilderness for 40 years. Verse 9, when your fathers tempted me, proved me and saw my works for 40 years. Wherefore I was grieved with the generation and said, They do always err in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swear on my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest. Take heed, brethren, lest there be any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power. Take heed, Akim. Stay diligent in the word. Because once you stop uh, being diligent in the word, Stop watching videos. Stop being in scriptures. Stop fellowshipping with Akim. You, you become, you start to fall away from the grace of the Lord. The scriptures say the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Jeremiah 17 and 9. Who can know it? All right. So verse 13. But exhort one another daily while it's called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And that's this is what this video is about. It's going to be entitled Maintain Your Confidence. But it's an exhortation. It says, but exhort one another daily while it's called today. We're in the daytime right now. But soon it's going to get really dark out here. And, you, and, and it's going to be a time where you can't go on YouTube and watch your brother make a video. You might not have a, a Bible with you. To go into and get comfort from. You might not be around Akim, men of the Lord, to help build you up. So you got to take advantage of this time right now. Verse 15. While it is said today. Oh, Salakia. I'm going to start at 13 again. But exhort one another daily while it's called today. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai. If we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. Maintain your confidence, Akim. And it says, specifically, the beginning of your confidence. Step fast until the end. Because when you first come into this truth, you're on fire. You, you're on fire. You truly believe in the Lord. You think America's going to end right then and there. The scriptures say, maintain that zeal. Maintain that confidence steadfast until the end. 15. While it is said today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. For some, when they had heard, did provoke, howbeit not all that came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcass fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not? So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. And where? how do you... How does unbelief start to crept in? When you stop hearing the words of the Lord, when you stop listening to the prophets, the men of the Lord, when you stop being diligent. So hold fast to your confidence, man. This is the book. I'm going to go back to the, to the book of Hebrews, chapter 10. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 35. All right. It says, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Alright. This is the book of book of First Corinthians chapter two, verse nine. It says, But as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the hearts of men the things which the heavenly Father hath prepared for them that love him. So we can't even comprehend the reward that we're going to receive. All we know is it's going to be amazing. Greater than anything that can be achieved in this life. Any dreams that we had in the world, the kingdom of heaven is going to trump that a hundredfold. All right. So the scripture says what? Back in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. It says, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience. That after ye have done the will of Yahweh Bashin Shai, ye might receive the promise. For yet a while, and he that shall come will come and will not tarry. 
Now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. We're not the wicked who fall back into the world, that give up on Yahweh Bashin Shai. All right? But we are of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So that's it, Akian. Those are the only scriptures I'm going to bring out. Lord willing, this was edifying. Call Halal Yahweh Bashim Shai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who've taught me this truth. Peace and blessings and salutations to the whole full elect. Shalom.